Please bother about the details. The next verse is in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 158. Allah raised him up alive unto himself. In Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu tell ta 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 ni ta kupa ma. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, just Keegan, and we are Fun and Jesse. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to the channel. You're the real SMVP, man. Thank you, thank you so much. And if you're new to this channel, we're Fun and Jesse. We do a lot of reaction videos. And just feel free to just let us know what kind of reaction you want us to do. And we're going to do it for you. So right now, a lot of people suggest that we should go react to Crucifixion or Crucifixion. This is by Dr. Zaki Knight. So without any further ado, let's get to see what these two words mean or probably what the video is talking about. So without any further ado, let's get it. Good evening. Um, I just wanted to ask a question related to the Christian who asked a question before. And you mentioned that uh, the soldiers stabbed Jesus and he was still alive before he was buried. My question is, did Jesus actually go to the cross or was he saved from ever having any of the pain? Sister, what's your name, sister? My name is Rachel. Sister has the question that when Jesus Christ peace be upon him and he was stabbed by the soldiers, She's asking, did Jesus, peace be upon him, actually go to the cross? And was he in pain or was he safe from going to the cross? Now both these incidences, details differ as per the Quran and the Bible. I am a student of comparative religion, I know both the versions. As per the Quran, the Quran gives the reply in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 157. It says that the Jews said in boast that we killed Jesus, the son of Mary. The Quran says, Wama katalu, wama salabuhu. They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. Walakin chubbi alam. It was only made to appear so. Anyone who differs is full of doubt. Illetabas done with only conjectures to follow. Wama katalu yakina, for a surety they killed him not. So according to the Quran, Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 157, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified, he was not killed, it was made to appear so. How it happened? We are least bothered about the details. The next verse says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 158, Allah raised him up alive unto himself. In the Bible now, for the Muslims, Quran says he was not killed, he was not crucified. We are satisfied. It was made to appear so. How it happened? There are many hypotheses. Maybe somebody was replaced in his place, or maybe may, we are least bothered. Quran says he was not killed, he was not crucified, we are satisfied, we are not bothered to know the details. If you read the Bible, if you read the story, if you read the Gospels, we come to know that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the Jews, they alleged that he did blasphemy. If you read the Gospel of John chapter number 10, verse number 31, 32, when he says, I and my father are one. So they think that he claimed divinity. So they say that he being a man, you claim divinity. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says in the Gospel of John chapter 10, verse 32, that isn't it mentioned in the scripture that he are God? The person who speaks the word of God are called as God. And the law is not broken. So here they mistook that he claimed divinity. They pick up stones to stone him. So then he says, many of good works have I done. For which of the good works do you stone me? So based on this, there is a trial in Pontius Pilate. And then he's put on the cross. And on, at that time, the Sabbath starts on Saturday for the Jews. It was in their philosophy that a person cannot be crucified on a Saturday we start on Friday night. So because he was crucified on Friday, put on the cross on Friday afternoon, he was taken down from the cross early because a person cannot be crucified on Saturday. So because they take him out early, if I agree with the narration of the Bible, I assume that even if he was put on the cross, he did not die. That's the reason the soldiers, they pierce and there you see blood coming out. And then in a hurry they put him in the sepulchre. Now when they put him in the sepulchre, he is there in the sepulchre on Saturday full day, Sunday morning, the stone is rolled out. When Mary Magdalene comes in front of the sepulchre, she sees that the stone is rolled out. So who moved the stone is the question. So based on the narration of the Bible, even if I agree 
hypothetically what the Bible says is correct, nowhere does it say in this narration that he died. So what we come to know from this narration, if he has to fulfill the sign of Jonah, that as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has to be alive. If he's dead, that means Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38, he says, and he gives a prophecy, that as Jonah was, so shall the Son of Man be. If Jonah was alive, he has to be alive. So what I assume in my reading, as a student, after doing research, I don't believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied. So to fulfill his prophecy, I have to believe he was alive. He was put on the cross, but he did not die. If you read the dictionary, crucifixion, C-R-U-C-I-F-I-X-I-O-N, means to fix a person on the cross, and he dies on the cross. There is no word in the dictionary which says if you put a person on the cross and he does not die, what is it called? So new word we have to coin is crucifixion. C-R-U-C-I-F-I-C-T-I-O-N. It's the fiction, it's the story. He's put on the cross but does not die. So therefore I believe that if I agree with the Bible it is correct and Jesus did not tell a lie, peace be upon him, it was a crucifixion. F-I-C-T-I-O-N. It was not fiction, F-I-X-I-O-N. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. Wow, wow. Such an amazing video right there by Dr. Zakir Naik. And he actually explained it in a very, very uh, informative way. And he actually distinguished between crucifixion with an X and crucifixion with C-T-I-O-N. I mean, that was just self-explanatory and how he explained it. And actually, Islam don't believe that Jesus Christ died or something like that. But in the Bible, it's written that he died and he was uh, put on the cross. And um, like he died on the cross and then he was taken to the tomb. And then after three days he rose up and you know uh, he came back to life and later on he rose all the way up into heaven but anyway like just what he said like they don't really want to go into details like they don't want to know how or what really happened and whatnot you know the fact of the matter is that he rose to heaven and and that's the most important thing you get it I mean <clears throat> Like they don't want to know all the details of what really happened and what not, blah, blah. All they really want to know is the good quality or probably the good things that he actually did <clears throat> to the people on earth, you understand? Again, whether Jesus died or he didn't die, all we care about or, or, or what we really care about is what he actually, the legacy left behind, you get it? Like such an amazing legacy. Such an amazing teaching, such an amazing uh, person. You, you, you get it. Even when he was at the cross, and he said, "Like forgive them, because they don't know what they're doing." I mean, who would even do such a thing? You're in the cross, and people have just nailed you, and you just say, "Forgive them." I mean, that was such a such a humble way to you know show how the the, the kind of person he was. You get it so much of quality, so much of, of 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 humility and whatnot. I mean such an amazing uh, being right there. But anyway, if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in the comment section, tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction, what you feel about this video right there. And what do you feel about this video crucifixion or crucifixion by Dr. The Kid Mike? What do you feel? Let me know in the comment section. And let me know what is your understanding of these two words right here i mean he explained it very well just let me know on your point of view what do you think and do you really care that much that jesus was crucified and he was taken to the to the tomb and after three days he rose and blah blah blah, blah and all those type of things just let me know in the comment section what do you think and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing and will give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And you know, we have a new channel which is called Finding Jesse 2.0. We just posted a new video today. Just make sure to go and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of good things for you guys. Just make sure to just go and tune in. The link is gonna be in the comment section below. We're gonna pin the 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 the, the, the comment so that you can be able to you know go and click that link over there and it will take you directly to 
our new channel. I mean, it's such an amazing channel. You just go and see it for yourself and make sure to subscribe. Support us in each and every way. And thank you for the people who've been subscribing to our channel. We are getting into 11,000 subscribers. And thank you, thank you so much. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. Rather, I'm going to see you in the next video. And peace out.